guy is doing being ranked number two in the country now? Yeah, it's a fun time to be a part of this program. Um, we've been having a lot of fun playing the game. And, uh, the guys have been great in the locker room. It's been great in practice. It's, this is the first time we've had a few days uh, without a game. So um, it's really been good to see how the guys are responding. And uh, we're kind of leaving what we've done in the past and moving forward. But it's going to be really kind of hard to leave what you've just accomplished in the past, though. Yeah, it is. You know, it, it, there's got to be a balance. Uh, and that's kind of something as a leader that I've tried to help our guys with is uh, you got to make sure you enjoy something that we, like we've done. You know, you, there's not a whole lot of teams that can go into Rupp Arena and win a game. So uh, we're enjoying it. Uh, we definitely celebrated it on that plane ride home. But as soon as we got back here on the court, uh, I made sure to uh, make sure the guys are ready to go for Saturday. And if you thought the teams came after you before, they will really come after you now after what you just accomplished. Yeah, and that's another thing that I've, I've been trying to help the guys with is uh, we've never been ranked this high, so it, it's new territory for us. But um, yeah, it's something that we got. It. We're gonna have a target on our back. Uh, not only being uh, number two in the country, but when you wear the four letters that we do, we always have that target. So uh, I think we'll be prepared for it. You know, some guys have said before the season, you know, you want to win a national title, but can you readjust expectations even higher now than, than maybe you, you had before? Uh, I think that's still the goal. Um, we, we've been talking about trying to get to Phoenix. Uh, that's been our thing. So um, this is a very talented group. It's a very confident group. And uh, I think that's why we've, we've started out the season so well, because uh, we've, we've really been confident not only in ourselves, but in each other and really started to trust each other. Is number one a thing? You guys want to get that number one? Yeah, I mean, I think that's, that's something that everybody wants. Uh, and when you get as close as we are uh, as being number two, uh, yeah, that's, that's definitely a goal. You talked about the plane ride. Well, what happened on the plane ride? Uh, well, usually everybody knocks out by the time we take off, but everybody was awake for about the whole four hours of the trip and uh, just hanging out in the back of the plane. And uh, we chartered there, which was fun for us. So uh, really just enjoying the trip and, and enjoying time with each other. Was there anybody able to watch like replays on uh, like iPads or anything of the game or, or, or plays or anything? Uh, a lot of guys were on Twitter in the back. We had, uh, we had Wi-Fi, and uh, we were just looking at some of the – some of the highlights, whether it be EK's tip dunk and, and stuff like that, and, and Lonzo shushing the crowd. and uh, Yeah, it was just a fun time to be on the plane. Just walking around campus, is there more of a buzz about UCLA basketball than you know previous years for you? Yeah, uh, definitely. I think uh, just knowing that this game's almost sold out for tomorrow uh, or Saturday, and uh, just get, people have been kind of congratulating us as we're walking to class. and. Uh, people are definitely excited around here, which is awesome. You've seen the attendance kind of go up and down throughout your years. Are you excited to see a full packed house on Saturday? Yeah, as a college basketball player, that's what you live for, you know, to, to play in front of huge crowds. Um, being at Kentucky, obviously, that was an amazing crowd, and it was super fun to play that. And uh, to be able to come back here and, and bring that home to our fans, that's something that we're going to really cherish. How do you kind of make sure that guys have the right mindset to avoid the letdown? Uh, like I said, you know, it's finding that balance uh, of enjoying what you've done so far, but realizing uh, at the end of the day it doesn't mean much. Um, you know, doing what you've done, uh, if you don't continue to progress and move forward, then uh, it, it all goes to waste. So, yeah, just trying to find that balance of enjoying what you've done and, and, and celebrating it, but uh, moving forward as soon as you get back on court. What have you seen about uh, Michigan when you've looked at them? Uh, much different than what we've used to. Um, obviously a big, tank, uh, big Ten team that's – uh, a little bit like Nebraska, which what we've seen, they like to slow it down. Uh, I think they're one of the uh, last place teams in, in pace, so uh, they really like to take their time on offense and really work to get uh, good, efficient shots, and they're really good at it. So uh, it's a team that we can't get behind early because uh, we know that they'll, they'll run the clock out on us. So uh, we'll really have to adjust from playing a game like Kentucky where it's high pace to, to try to keep our pace and dictate it. Last year, you guys beat Kentucky and Gonzaga. There was this kind of same height. What's the difference this year? The difference is uh, that we've got that the veterans that have been there and we've done that. You know, we, we, like you said, we did the same thing last year, but uh, this year we've got uh, a very good mix of young talent with our veterans and uh, the guys that have been here that, that went through it last year know what kind of letdowns we had, so we can learn from it and uh, we're ready to go. And it's finals week for you guys, right? Is yes. It's nice to have a few days to just chill out and just focus on basketball too. Yeah, it's been good. Uh, you know, I got a final tomorrow, uh, so it'll be good. I think everybody will be done by tomorrow. So going into that Saturday game, we'll, we'll be going into winter break and not have any classes to worry about. So uh, it'll be nice when it's all hoops. I mean, it was definitely a big win, but we're moving on to the next game. I mean, yeah, flying home, um, we're definitely excited about it. And it was big for us, but I mean, we're just moving on to Michigan now. How do you keep from 
believing the hype and all the noise that will surround you and that has surrounded you after that win? Um, I mean, for a lot of our guys, it's, it's good for us. I mean, it's good to finally get deserving of all that and getting a big win in a, in a hard environment like that. But like I said, I mean, we're just moving on. Um, a lot of our guys are just grounded, and we just want to win, and that's what we're going to do, and we're going to try our best to do that every single night, um, and we're just looking forward to the Michigan game now. But with that kind of success comes a lot of pressure. Yeah, that's definitely true. I mean, we have a bigger target on our back than ever, um, moving up to second in the country and just with the big wins and a lot of players getting a lot more hype. So, yeah, there's definitely a big target on our back, but I think we're ready for it, and we're just ready for the challenge. You guys want that number one spot, or does that matter? Um, I think everyone wants that number one spot, so, yeah, we definitely want it. What, what, you guys haven't really experienced a, a sellout here. What do you think that would be like if, if, it, if you get that here? Um, I mean, it'd be a lot of fun. I mean, even with the crowd we usually have, I mean, there's, there's pretty good energy at times. So, I mean, if we could um, really fill this place out, I think it'd be a lot of fun. What's the best, team, best thing about your club? Can you repeat the question? No, what's the best thing that you like about your team? Our unselfishness. I mean, no one really cares what their numbers are like. We all just want to win. And we're going to do whatever it takes to do that. I mean, if, if Lonzo or Bryce or Aaron doesn't, doesn't score, they're not going to be upset about it as long as we get the win. And I think that's what makes the team um, so special. It being finals week, is it nice to take a break once you guys are done with the test and just focus on basketball? Definitely. I mean, yeah, because I mean, it, it can be really stressful just this week trying to focus basketball and school. But it's really nice that we didn't have any games during this week um, until Michigan. So we could really just focus on that a little bit. And now we can start getting back into practice and really focusing on Michigan. When you what, are your, what are your finals this week? I already finished. I had my last one yesterday. Nice. Uh, when you look at the tape and, and how different the pace is between Kentucky and Michigan, how mm -hmm. much of an adjustment is that for you guys? It's definitely an adjustment. I mean, we're going to try and establish our pace and just get out and run like we always do, and they know that, and we know they're going to try and establish their pace. Um, but it's definitely going to be a different type of game than Kentucky. Um, another good defensive team, but we're looking forward to it. You guys have played some teams that slowed it down. Mm -hmm. Is that prime? Do you think you're always in a good spot because you've played teams that have tried to do that and haven't really succeeded? Yeah, definitely. Bit, but I mean, this is a different test. I mean, they're a Big Ten team, have a, had a lot of success, great coaching, um, a lot of talent. So I mean, it's just going to be a fun game and we're all looking forward to it. I'm the point guard, so I mean, on the court, I don't like to coach on the floor, but it's a team thing. And everybody's out there playing for each other. How surprised are you at your own personal success? I'm not surprised at all. I know what I can do on the basketball court. I know the guys around me, what they can do, and it's all coming together right now. And how much fun is it walking around campus now with all the accolades about after what you just accomplished and where you are now in the standings? I mean, still the beginning of the season, so I mean, it's a good win, but you know, we still have the long journey to go. And as far as people, I mean, I really don't like the attention like that, so I walk around with a hoodie on and you know, just try mm -hmm. to stay warm. <laughs> stay warm, <laughs> yeah. What is so unique about this squad from other teams you've played with? Uh, we just have all the pieces. Uh, for me personally, it's the best team I ever played on. So it's just a lot of fun out there getting to do what I love. And with guys like that, like I said, going up and down with them, you can't beat that. They had this up here. At what point did you shush the crowd? I missed that. Uh, I hit a three. You know, the crowd was going crazy. And then they all be playing quiet. And then I just, you know, did natural instinct. The second half? Yeah. OK. What did that feel like to, to do that? It just came natural, you know. <laughs> I didn't really think about it. I just did it. We talked a little bit about the plane ride home. How much fun was that, you guys? I guess you usually sleep, <laughs> yeah. but not this time. Yeah, it was pretty good. You know, I got a little rest, just a little bit. But after that, you know, I talked to the guys, and everybody was happy, smiling. Do you guys want to be number one? Does that matter at all? I mean, obviously, you want to be the best. So, yeah, we play to win, not to lose. I'd like you to talk just a little bit about how it means to you as an individual and also as a team to be getting UCLA back where it was a few years ago and the prominence that you do now have. It's great. You know, this score has a lot of history, and um, now finally people are going to start coming out again, watching the team play. And as we keep winning, you know, just keep taking it from there. What are your expectations as far as it being a packed house on Saturday? Just go out there and give them a show. Where, what have you seen in Michigan when you look at the uh, I know it's uh, Yeah, we're going to watch them on them today, so then okay. I can't let, let you know until <laughs> then. You're averaging 34.2 uh, minutes per game, lead the team. How's your uh, fatigue factor kind of right now? Um, for the most part, it's okay. You know, I'm used to playing the whole game. Um, I was a little bit sick last week, but, you know, I'm getting over it now, so I should be fine. Is this uh, like a cold or something? Yeah. Okay. It's like you're a man of few words but a lot of action. Uh, yeah, I try to lead by example. You know, Coach is trying to help me with that, talking a little bit more. But, yeah, I don't like to talk that much.